Welcome to the Legacy Education ICD-10 CM Guideline Review Series. I am Tiffany Roach, the Coding Coach, and I will be walking through the ICD-10 CM Guidelines with you. This video will cover the chapter-specific guidelines for Chapter 17, Congenital Malformations, Deformations, and Chromosomal Abnormalities, represented by codes Q00 through Q99. This presentation is designed to review the ICD-10 CM guidelines that are effective for both fiscal year 2024 and 2025. There were no changes to the guidelines from fiscal year 2024 to 2025. Codes from Chapter 17, Q00 through Q99, should be used when a malformation, deformation, or a chromosomal abnormality is documented. These codes can be used as either first listed or secondary diagnoses. When a malformation, deformation, or chromosomal abnormality does not have a unique code, you should assign codes for any manifestations that may be present. When the code assignment specifically identifies the malformation, deformation, or chromosomal abnormality, any manifestations that are a part of the anomaly should not be coded. However, any manifestations that are not part of that anomaly, those, co those can be coded separately. Codes from Chapter 17 can be used throughout the life of the patient. If the congenital malformation or defor deformity has resolved, a personal history code should be used in place of a Chapter 17 code. When a malformation, deformation, or abnormality is discovered later in life, then you should assign a code from Chapter 17. If the condition is discovered at the birth admission, the appropriate code from Category Z38 should be first listed, followed by any congenital anomaly codes. As always, thank you for supporting us and stay tuned for new videos in our ICD-10-CM guideline review. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can be in the know of our newest videos as they are released.